Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports for Nine News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be our next hockey video as Matt Murray gets a chance to retool and rebuild his career down with the Bellevue Senators after, as expected, he did not get picked up off of the waiver wire. And also, consequently, the same time, he was officially sent down. Logan Shaw was placed on waivers by the Ottawa Senators due to Drake Batherson coming back, and I haven't seen anything as of yet about Logan Shaw getting claimed either. But when it comes to Matt Murray, I think his coach um, pretty much summed it up well. He's going down with two years, 6.25 left. That's never good, obviously, to have to retool and refine yourself in the minors when you have that big of a contract. But he says, now I don't agree with the beginning of the quote necessarily by when you say, by no means is this on the player when a guy does get sent down. He has gone through some injuries, but also went healthy and able to actually stay in for a decent clip of games in a row. It's not like Murray's been as sharp as he has during his cup-winning times in Pittsburgh. So there is that, but I do agree with the injury part of this uh, quote where he says, by no means is this on Matt Murray. We want him to be the best goalie possible and give him the best chance. I think a lot of this revolves around the fact he's had a lot of injuries, and there's nothing you can do about it with COVID. He's missed a lot of time and hasn't been able to get into a rhythm. We certainly got to play better in front of him as well. We got to take some blame there, but it's about getting his game back. Where this year, I completely agree with that. He hasn't had time to be in rhythm at all, and he hasn't had time to get into it. He was injured, of course, with a neck and then had the uh, COVID injury as well. Well, not injury, but COVID. He was out with COVID as well, and then he's also had lower body injuries since going there. But he also hasn't been too squeaky clean and sharp when he's got extended runs of five games in a row or four games or three, whatever the heck you want to describe it as. It's not like he's been squeaky clean up there. It's about now him being able to adjust and him being able to refine his game as, of course, he led Pittsburgh to back-to-back -to -back titles, uh, post, posted a 10 3 13 and one record with a 3-3 goals against and an 8-9-3 save percentage last season um, is what Murray did with the Ottawa Senators and then this year as 0-5 with a 3-2-6 and an 8-90 save percentage so it is obviously not a good look for that contract and not a good look for the Senators giving Matt Murray that contract which was a little bit of a head scratcher when it first started because he became an odd man out in Pittsburgh after winning them back-to-back -back cup and that's because he wasn't the same netminder as he once was. But yes, goaltenders, we saw Cam Talbot fall off for a couple of years and then really be able to reestablish himself in Calgary and then, of course, get a very good contract for himself in Minnesota. So it does happen. Matt Murray's a guy that's going to get to go down with Bellevue now. Is he going to be able to center himself there and turn the tide and get going? Or is he going to have that, had a very good start to his career? Obviously, this guy didn't win two Stanley Cups then had some injuries that derailed him to not even be a consistent AHL goaltender in Corey Schneider. That remains to be seen. I don't think Matt Murray's going to go all the way down the Schneider track of really even struggling for a team like the Bridgeport Islanders uh, this year as well, who don't have the best defensive team, but Corey just isn't the best goaltender anymore overall and is probably near retirement unless if he really starts to pick it up in the AHL. I don't see Murray going down that road. I see him being able to maybe center himself enough to be a backup, but in terms of being a starter and being worth that six point, uh, whatever it is, 6.25 or whatever it is, yeah, 6.25 contract, that is a huge question mark going forward. But if we take out, which is hard to do, I understand that Senators fans and hockey fans, but if we just take the player into perspective without the 6.2 tag, will he be able to get himself back to being maybe a 905, a 910 save percentage with a 2, let's say like a 290 or a 289 goals against to like solid numbers? Yeah, I think he could actually have a chance to do that. It just He has his good head on going down there. He has a good attitude going down there. And um, he's somebody that I think is going to take this in stride and kind of be able to realize he's getting sent down because, one, he's not performing too well, but, two, he's gone through a lot of crap and has gone through the full ringer, whether it's come to getting on the COVID list and having to go through COVID or whether it's come to injuries he's had to go through in Ottawa. So they're doing a good thing for him, something teams would fear other teams because of the price tag to even send him down to get the work. And they, of course, have a solid, very young netminder in Gustafson um, there, excuse me, 
um, in Ottawa. So, it's not like they need to rush this guy back up in Matt Murray. They can go with Gustafson. They can go with uh, Anton Forsberg a little bit, but I wouldn't do that oh too much because he's been struggling. Gus, his goals against is high, but his save percentage... <coughs> Excuse me. His save percentage is pretty solid at 907. And, um... He has three wins on the season, one OT loss, and five losses, but I thought he's looked like their best goaltender. The centers also clearly don't play consistent. In front of the goaltenders, the former um, second-round pick by the Penguins in 2016, I think will have success in Ottawa as the team continues to build and gel and get better systematically as players continue to come in and they continue to get healthy and also continue to form a good defensive and offensive structure in Ottawa with all this good emerging young talent that is continuing to come up and is continuing to develop with Bellevue, as now Matt Murray has a chance to reestablish himself with Bellevue. I mean, I hope for the best for Matt Murray that he's able to do this. Obviously, you're always rooting for a guy when he um is not going through his best times right now. Hopefully, he's able to rebound and retool and get his career back on track with the Bellevue Senators. This has just been a video on Matt Murray getting a chance to rebound his career in Bellevue after an injury plagued Sens career this far. Plus, of course, having to go through COVID. So he's had to go through the ringer. Let's see if he's able to come back out on the other side of it. Coming back up in the NHL some point this year to reestablish himself. We're kicking butt with Bellevue. And then maybe if Gustafson really takes off, I still think eventually since they have Forsberg, Murray will be back up this year if he's doing good enough. But we'll have to see. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Peace out. If you enjoy the content, really appreciate. Got us up to 165, well past the subscriber goal of November. Love you all. Really appreciate you all. Really appreciate the 165. Special thanks to you all. But if you really do enjoy the content and have not already, please consider subscribing to keep us going and growing. We really appreciate your support. Stay safe out there, everybody, and peace out.